So I'm going to start. I'm starting a different camera here. That's why I'm doing this. So hi, it's me, Denny Daniel of the Museum of Interesting Things, and we're doing the box opening for the Soundies Secret Speakeasy. So everyone, come on up, grab a box and grab a scissor. Uh, don't be shy. Go, go, go. I'll move this out of your way so it's out of your way. And I'm going to open up one myself as well, which I almost never do. But why not? Oh, Neb, did you bring the 45 from England? No. Nope. I know. <laughs> I, I figured. <laughs> it's all good. I'm getting used to you forgetting it. Well, it's packed up with my stuff. Oh, right. You have to bring it to the other apartment, too. Yeah, I haven't packed. I haven't ah. packed checks. We haven't so you'll open it in like five years. Because <laughs> I'm still unpacking from my when I moved. <laughs> It's all good. There's not a rush for that one. I had uh, the, what's her name? Helen Shapiro, 45, sent to Neville's sister in England. <laughs> and the Beatles actually opened for Hel Helen Shapiro. Do you know that? Really? No, you... I, think I, I think I've heard of that. So when they were not famous, they went on a TV show with Helen, and they're kind of the props. And she's like, look who it is. Yeah. You saw, yeah, I, I, I've seen that. That's incredible because yeah. I've never seen, I've that. seen that. I only saw that when I was researching with the museum. I can't believe that you've seen that. Oh, so let, you opened up something. Let's see what you got there. Why do I? Oh, that is hysterical. So I opened up. Oh, shoot. My, my thing fell. Whoops. Sorry, guys. That camera fell. Uh, Danny, that's Danny. <laughs> that's me. I did it. <laughs> so this is hysterical. So I'm starting a collection of weird and funny album covers for the museum. I've got over 2,000 albums. I DJed on seven radio stations, but these I've, I've never seen before, and now I'm finding them, and I'm like, these are incredible. So this one is called, it's with Mike Nichols and Elaine May, and it's called Examine Doctors. <laughs> How, and uh, why do I find that easy to believe that you would open this? He's a completely silly demon. Uh, so well, I am I a freelance brain surgeon. <laughs> I do too, funny enough. Uh, so this is, I love this. So there's going to be a whole bunch of these coming up soon. So put that together with the package and over there so that it's away from the other ones. And then, oh, the elevator's coming in. Hopefully it's not for me. Or you. Uh, so everyone keep opening. And I've got another one here. Oh, this is great. Don Lonnie talks with teenagers. Oh, I dropped this again. I'm so sorry, humans there. Um, Don Lonnie talks to teenagers. Look at Don Lonnie. This man should be talking to teenagers because clearly he knows teenagers. Yeah. It's confirmed. <laughs> he knows teenagers. That is the most hysterical record, isn't it? I love this collection. is one of my favorites. Nev, isn't this great? Okay, so... What did you open up? Oh, Demi, come around this okay. way without tripping. Okay. <laughs> if you trip, we bury you in the basement. I own the building. I become I an antique. <laughs> exactly. So this is Demi, and she opened up the first of my um, Ray Bourbon. Um, she was a drag queen, believe it or not, which is a big thing now. But back then, that was kind of scandalous. Uh, but she was a drag queen in like the 50s and 60s. And this is the holy grail of her records. Let me tell you about my operation. The hardest to find, the most expensive, the best one they made. Yeah, I am so proud of this one. Let me tell you about my operation. It's okay. ridiculous. And that's how I found her, him, whatever you want to call. Um, yeah, I saw this one and I was like, yeah, I got to find out who this is because this is too funny not to own. Um, and then I started my whole, so oh, the, black, the back is just black. Um, so Demi, you opened up my... My I'm glad very you're first doing one. Okay. That is very cool. Uh, so what have we got here? Uh, so step right up. Oh, he already opened. So come on, step okay. right up. Oh my God. So Carissa, uh, wait, we don't see you. Hi. Carissa, who just I'm started, small. and she is brilliant. It's as if she's worked here longer than me because she knows everything better than me. This is great. Jerry Gordon got a phone call from God. <laughs> yeah, the name of this record is Phone Call from God. So how did, how was God? Was he good? 
Yeah, yeah, solid, yeah, solid, solid, fair. Solid. I like that. Solid. That's solid. Good. Yeah. Good. Good answer. <laughs> oh, and by the way, you have to. Everyone has to see her cool T-shirt. Oh. So she is wearing Beatles. the world's coolest Sel Beatles submarine. yellow submarine T-shirt. I am. I have to get that T-shirt. That is the world's coolest T-shirt. Uh, but yeah, this is part of our silly record cover. <laughs> so put that together, I love and it. I guess put it wherever you know. Wherever you like. This one demands an answer. Oh. <laughs> It does. And ironically, I just came back from a cemetery. Pet cemetery? So, this cemetery, Pet Cemetery, yes. That is the funniest of the record album covers. Where are the dead? Grateful Dead? Yeah. Or Dead Can Dance? Or the Ungrateful Dead? <laughs> or the Dead Kennedys? I don't know. Which one? <laughs> Uh, well, I know two out of those, two out of the three, but I, this is too ridiculous not to buy. I was like, yeah, where are the dead? And I was in the goth scene for so many years, so I know exactly where the dead are. They're at the bank or the bat cave. <laughs> um, so that was Ira again. What's next? Step right up. I opened two. You opened two? What's wrong with you, woman? <laughs> so, so, so Autumn Eve opened up two, daughter of Neville Eve. <laughs> um, just Neville. So this is a complete, yeah, clearly you should be smoking, smoking, smoking. This is great. Yeah, this was made before the government realized what a bad idea. Uh, but isn't this hysterical? What a crazy album cover. I was like, yeah, we got to add this to the silly. I don't, what, what, you have to help me get a name for this crazy album cover, silly album covers. I don't know. We'll figure out a name. And then you opened up a 45 of Freddy. So I have the world's largest collection of birthday 45s. We have over 350 happy birthday 45s, but I never got a Freddy one. So now I've got Freddy. So Friday the 13th, wasn't his name Freddy? Yeah. yeah. So now when it's his birthday, you can be the one to sing this because I ain't. <laughs> and then I think he gave me a gift or something. I'm not sure if I bought these. These are extra. That's cool. That was nice of him. Some more birthday 45s. So now I have over 350. Happy birthday, Hollywood. That's really cool. That was sweet of him. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Holy moly, it's the, you like opened up the Holy Grail. <laughs> this is, yeah, I can't even hold this with one hand. <laughs> so there's happy, oh, I think I did get the Elvis. And I actually have a Sun Records of Elvis singing happy birthday to his mom. These are really cool. Those are very, very cool. Yeah. Good job, Autumn Eve. And then we have more, and there's more. Oh, her dad. Very good. So this is Nev, the father of that one. Did he do a good job? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's been concurred. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's at least in front of your face. <laughs> so this one is, and being that he's a good dad, we're giving him a surprise party. Look at that surprise. That's a surprise if I've ever seen one. Look at that cover. That is completely nuts. I don't know what kind of weird surprise party these people are throwing, but I, I'm glad I'm not invited. We're not invited to it. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty nutty surprise party. That's a surprise. Yeah. That party was a surprise. And this one, which is just my absolute holy grail item. Don't read the cover. <laughs> um, this is my absolute holy grail. This is the coolest, most, what makes you think to do this? This is dinner music, and ironically, you're going to dinner. Mm -hmm. That He's actually here waiting for his dinner to be served. So this is the dinner you're ser that's being hungry served for you? cannibals, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dinner music for, hungry, for a pack of hungry cannibals. <laughs> and the, wait, bring the pack up. This is the pack of hungry cannibals. They're actually waiting. Their food is going to be downstairs. Mm -hmm. And now we know what Autumn Eve and Neville are eating. Vegetarians. <laughs> vegetarian restaurant? Yeah, that's I'm what they very told you. Vegetarians. Oh, you're eating vegetarians. Yes, yes. <laughs> clearly. I eat cannibals. <laughs> it's incredible. So that's that is just I can't believe I own this. <laughs> I just can't believe I own this. I'm probably going to jail for this one. Mm -hmm. So this is the last time you guys will see me. <laughs> so did we get everything? There's one left. I will be the, do the honors of this one with Carissa. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So I'll do the cutting. You do the opening. Okay. Since I'm really good Rip. at this crazy, stupid cutting stuff. Yes. And don't worry if I cut you. Please I don't. have I have prohibition 
Uh, I have a, a, a quack medical surgical tools. No, it's quack medical surgical tools that I can cure you with from the Civil War. And don't nice. worry about silly stuff like anesthesia okay. or or, uh, or sterilizing them. Uh -huh. A shot of whiskey and you're fine. Oh, okay, cool, <laughs> awesome. Let's do it. Okay, so <laughs> I did don't. the cutting and she does the opening. She has okay. the honor of opening. Let's see. Ooh, ooh la la. That Ooh, is so cheesy. This is great. Fine. And I got this because of my professor at NYU. Uh, because this is buying a car the Ukrainian style, which means you use royal polka kings. The dude on the front got swagger. He looks, he looks I know, like he's, right? He's rocking it. Yeah, yeah, this is totally, yeah, I'm showing this to my professor of uh, politics, international politics at NYU. And I wasn't kidding. Buying a car the Ukrainian style. That's just too stupid not to own. Yeah, I am so proud of this collection of ridiculous records. Uh, maybe I will call it Ridiculous Records. There you go. That's the name. That's perfect. We did it. We have a name for the show, Ridiculous Records. I'm going to forget, so she'll remind me because I have no brain for these It things. is absolutely ridiculous. Excellent. Yes. Okay. So off to the wild blue yonder. What is the next one? Oh, this is great. This is, um, some of you who are regulars, I haven't played this one too many times. Um, this one is the absolute cheesiest of the uh, soundies, or one of the cheese. It's hard to pick which one is the cheesiest. They're just so cheesy. But I love the name of this one. Just by the name alone, I had to get it. It's who put the underalls or the pants in Mrs. In Mrs. Murphy's chowder. Yeah. Who put the Overalls. Who put the overalls? I knew it wasn't pants. Who put the overalls in Mrs. Murphy's chow Chowder, which is uh, obviously a popular song because well, Ira... The popular song was Who Put the Benzedrine in Mrs. Murphy's Ovaltine? <laughs> that came out in the 80s. <laughs> so, so... 1880s? 1880s. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> so yeah, this is a total fun um, uh, soundy of that one. And like I said, you would have seen this when the movie theaters were opening. So we're going to say bye to that world. Bye to that world. And say hi to that.